Hello and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I talk about JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Today we're going to have a look at let. Now let is a way to declare a variable. It's really quite straightforward. We have a variable we want to declare. So we say let the book equal clean code. Yes, um, it could be a string like that. It could be a number. Let fave num equal seven. It's my favorite number. Fun fact. Um, or we could have um, let array of values equal one, two, three, four. Yep, so a variable could be any of these things and let is one of the ways to declare them, to tell the program from now on, every time I reference the book, what I mean is the string clean code. Every time I reference fave number, I mean the number seven. The great thing about a variable and variables declared with let is that you can change them later. So maybe after a while I decide that my favorite number is no longer seven, sorry seven, and I redeclare it like this. Now be careful not to type let again. You know, we just, we just refer to it already. In let we're, we're kind of telling the program um, create this, create this variable and give it this value that I just gave you. Uh, but you can then later already refer to that value. You don't need to redeclare it. Uh, so you can just say fave none now equals three. Um, we can also, actually I'll write this here, we can also declare a variable without giving it a value. So I could also say let's pants, shirt, socks. And then later I can say pants equal jeans shirt equals blouse and socks equals warm winter socks yeah so I, we also don't have to do it all together um, there are a few reasons why you might want to do this but it's good to know now one bigger concept that will definitely have to be explained in another video is the concept of scope I do have a blog post on it which I will link to in the description um, but here is important to note that anything declared as a variable with let it only exists within the scope or the world in which it was created. And usually this is indicated with curly brackets. So if I say let count equal three, and then here I try to say console log count, it won't work. And here you can even see in my editor that it stays grayed out here because it knows that it's not actually able to access that variable. So as I said, that will come later, but that is let, and that is everything you need to know about let when you're getting started with JavaScript. Thank you for watching. Bye.